So I've just hit Anglers Den, just grabbed a couple of extra sabikis as I have run out due to a lot of snags recently. Um, now we're gonna go fill up this bad boy. Got two tanks today, and uh, we're gonna go and hit some wrecks and reefs. So uh, let's get going. Right, we've got our fuel, we've got 24 litres on board, uh, so plenty of fuel, that'll do us today and hopefully tomorrow. Um, so let's head down there, let's get the boat set up and uh, let's go do some fishing. Here goes. Well, we've just arrived, very local to me, uh, Langley Car Park Beach, we're going to launch off the beach here. Look at this sea, boys, it's like a mirror. Right, I'm the person here. I'm going to set up the boat. Um, I'm going to take a little bit longer than everyone else as I've uh, only just started getting into it. But um, I don't like rushing, so I'm going to pop it all out there, get it pumped up, and jobs are good. And right, let's do this. So we'll run through the very quick setup. Well, I've made some changes today. So we've got very, very nice and tight and compact. We've got a bucket in the front for the fish. I'll put a cloth over that uh, if we get any. And then I've got a crate, a storage crate, where I've got spare fuel, uh, anchor, anchor buoy, and a bit of bait in there. And I'll fling the net in the front as well. It's only me on the boat today, it's only me on the boat. So um, I can kind of pack it out and not really have to worry about how much stuff I've got, um, as long as I've got a little bit of space for my legs. I've got two tackle boxes. This has got all my bits to kit, sort of fixing kit in it. And this has just got my lures and my uh, pliers and that sort of stuff. Obviously life jacket. 150 newton one. I didn't not wearing a PFD now. I'm going to take that out all the time. A seat under there with drink, sun cream. Got my radio, which is crucial. Right at the back here. I keep this area. I want to keep this area fully um, empty of anything really, apart from the fuel tank, because my last trip I had bits down there and I wasn't too happy with it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how I've set up today, and we'll see how that goes. Definitely a few changes I made from last time, and I have a feeling I'm going to be a lot happier with with the way it runs today. Uh, hopefully. So I've got three rods, really simple. Uh, I've got two big heavy boat rods. There's a big, some big tope out there at the moment, even fresher sharks. So um, just in case, eight pound braid, big heavy reels, and uh, big 500 gram boat rods. So two of those, I can I can lure fish with those as well. Uh, Sign winders we're going to use today, and then we've just got the little light lure set up um, for the bee keys and things like that. Just going to go move the car now uh, into a spot where it's actually allowed to be, and uh, jump back launch the boats. Right guys, we're about three miles out. There's mackerel jumping everywhere. Um, I just went for my first cast and snap. For some reason, it just it just went. So I'm very quickly just trying to wind up now. Um, put some more feathers on very, very quickly so we can get a load of mackerel. If you stayed out here today, you'd probably get 100 of them. Look at them all out there, look, loads of them. Might be some bass in that as well, so I'm gonna give it a good go. Absolute thousands of them. We're in, boys. We're in. They're all around us. Hey, look at that. Look, loads of them, loads of them. Oh, oh. I'm going to stand up because it's going to be easier. Hey, three mackerel on board. But got one. Throw it in the bucket at the front. So got lots of people who want them as well. I won't just take I won't just take mackerel for the sake of it, um, but I will. I haven't had a haven't had a season yet, so to speak. So um, 
I'm going to take quite a few today and then I've got loads of the freezer for bait and things like that. So drop it back down. Look at that, straight on, straight on. Look at that. Woohoo! Woohoo! There's absolutely, there must be hundreds down there. Look, 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 straight under the boat. I can see them all in the water. It's so clear. They actually take a bit of line off as well. Look at that. Excellent. Another three, another three, look. Boys, I can't even get to the bottom of, of the water. They're literally coming up every second. So look, so we've got one here. They've, they've tangled mid trace up massively. Watch how quick this is. Oh, I've got to be a bit careful in case my manual, uh, manual inflation nearly got caught there. We had a few engine issues getting out. Right, we're dropping it now. Right. One, two, oh, knock. Just drop it back down again. Yep, we're in. Oh, we're in. Yep, here we go. Another one coming up. All right, come on. Get it back down again. This is the first time this year I've had mackerel like this. Finally, they're here. Yep, here we go. Finally, they're here. Oh, there's two there. Look at that. Oh, one got away. Oh, that's a big one. Massive eaters. Yeah, big eating, big eating mackerel, these are. They're a bit, a bit big for bait, I think. They're so aggressive as well. They're taking the, the, the feathers like so quick. Look, I'm in such a tangle on these feathers, it's just crazy. Such a tangle. But I haven't got time to, um, well, I have probably got time to untangle it, but sorry, let's, just get it, let's just get it down a bit in a mess. Just send it back down again. Just try and get a couple more. Yeah, we're in, we're in straight away. Oh, oh, here we go. Two on. <laughs> right. Oh. Right, that's enough mackerel for one day. For now, we're going to go out to the uh, the, re the reef now and try for some proper fish. The mackerel are proper. Ah, uh, no, gone over the side. Mackerel are proper fish, but um, I mean some bigger fish. You know? Right. I'll see you out there. Guys, I don't know if you can see this. The amount of fish, you might be able to hear it. It's crazy. Bump him. What we got here then, boys? What we got here? I think probably mackerel. But I don't know what Kev's in as well. Oh, that's a nice one, Kev. I've got a bloody, bloody mackerel again. I found, yeah. I can't really count that one, but he'll, I'll take him anyway. Guys, they are the little fish. Absolutely, hundreds of thousands of them. Look, you can see them all, all coming up here. here. They're all below us. us. Absolutely incredible. Tips get the GoPro underwater, but. We've got a good fish on, finally. We've got a good fish on. Kev very kindly lent me one of his lures, so I'm not gonna, oh, oh my goodness, it's a massive wrasse. Oh my God. Oh, PV on the cards. I'm very excited. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is what it's about. I don't mind spending stupid amounts of money on fishing tackle and gear when I've got a wrasse on the end like this. Oh. They've taken, oh my life, look at this, guys. I really wish my other half would have um, been able to come out today to do some filming. Look at that wrasse. Oh, that needs a net. That needs a net. Back. Don't you dare come off, big boy. Don't you dare. Oh my life, what a beauty. What a stunner of a fish. Yes! 
Yes! That was worth spending three grand on a sib for. That is what we come out for. Hell yeah! There, no. Oh, they're spiky buggers, aren't they? They're not, they're not something I've had many of. Don't stick your uh, finger in his mouth. No. Right, let's, let's show you this big boy. You in, Kev? Yeah. Yes, Kev's in. Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at that beauty of a fish. That is an absolute stunner. Look at the colours on that. Look at the colours on that fish. That is beautiful. Hey, Kev's got one as well. Hang on, I'll put this one back. There you go. Beautiful fish. Down it goes. A release is what I like at the end of that. Get in. Let's go and get another one. Not a line off the reel. Oh, I hit it again. Yeah, oh no, keep. Beep. Come on, right. Come on. I'm gonna have to edit that, that blip out. Right, we just. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're in. Oh, this could be a better fish. It's coming up like a lump. This is. This is, this is, oh, here we go. It, all my life, all my life. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. My life. What the hell is this going to be? If this is a ras, this is going to be probably bigger than my other one. Look at that. Oh my God. Well, this is what, oh, wow, it's another big ras. Look at that beauty. Oh my goodness me. Fantastic. Big ras number two. I am one happy chappy. Things didn't quite go to plan today. Um, my, my engine flooded and it's just been a bit of a pickle, but sometimes I find when you have disasters like that, not disasters, but when you have misfortunes like that, sometimes the fishing pays off. And uh, today, I don't, I don't care what happens now, that is a donkey of a fish. Absolute donkey. Problem is, it's swim bladder um, has popped, so I might have to be a bit careful putting that one back. I don't know if it will go back, but we'll try. Look at that. What amazing colours. <sighs> Stunning. Right, I'm going to try and put it back, but as I say, I think its swim bladder's gone. So um, I'm not sure if it will, but I'll try my very best. And the next time, I'm going to fight it a bit more gently and just, just to try and get it back safely. Because at the end of the day, the release for me is, is the most important bit. Um, I like them to go back alive, so let's try and, let's try and get it back. Oh, okay. I just, I found I was going a bit fast and I wasn't getting a feel. If you go really slowly, just feel it, feel it touch the bottom and then just slowly bounce it up and down and that's, that's where I'm getting them. There you go. Down it goes. Excellent stuff. Oh, fantastic. I'm so chuffed with that. We're, um, I think we're probably about five miles off, I would say. Something like that. Um, I've just, yeah, I've had two, two PB rats today. Absolutely made up. Those fish are stunning. Um, there's fish all around us, bubbling, bouncing. Could it be a red letter day? Um, all it needs now is a few cod, pollock, and um, that would sort us, really. I'd love a tope, um, and I've got some mackerel now, so um, it might be that when we're at anchor later on, um, I'm gonna try for a tope. If I can get a tope today, that'll be another thing ticked off my bucket list. There's so much, so much fry um, just just north of me now, or south of me technically, if we're boat, using boating terms. There's loads of it. Little ripples in the water. That is just fry hitting the surface. It's live with fish out here. Absolutely live. It's taken all season, um, really. It's the end of July nearly to, um, for, the, to, to, for the mackerel to come in, but now they've arrived with this heat wave. Hopefully they're here to stay. Fingers crossed. Right, let's try and pick up another beautiful rest. So you might be able to hear me a little bit. We're just resetting our drift out here on the reef. We've got about a knot of tide now, so it's a little bit fast. We're gonna give one more go, and then we're gonna head out a little bit further. What a stunning day to be out, I mean, Calm seas, pancake. You rarely get this. This is the first time this year I've been out in such calm seas. Absolutely stunning.
just come to our cob mark and there's two, two cod have been boarded over there. Um, I had to just sort out my engine again, but it's not the end of the world. We'll have to look at it a bit later. For some reason it, it stopped running water, which is quite serious. Um, but if, it, if the worst comes to worst, we'll just have to, we'll get, we'll get towed in. But I've, I think I've sorted it, but we're gonna just keep, we're gonna keep, we're in this mark for a while now and we're gonna try and get a cod, make the day a bit better. Just trying a sidewinder. Had two massive hits on it and just missed it both times. Two, two cod boarded over there, so they're here. With a sidewinder, it's, um, as soon as it hits the bottom, wind up quickly, so it doesn't snag on the weight. The bottom, and then just slowly wind up. Oh, it come up again! What is going on? What is going on? I wonder if they're little pouting or something going for the sidewinder, I don't know. Let's try a slightly faster retrieve, see if they're interested. Maybe. There you go, Kev's into a something. Or rubber. We don't normally um, drift this close together, but for some reason the drift just put us very close together. What's he got? Oh, it's a pout, a foul hook pout. Kev is going to cry about that. Boys, this is going to be a lump, boys. This is going to be a lump. Whoa, <laughs> this is on a. Um, 500 gram class boat rod as well, 80 pound braid, and it's pulling like a donkey. Here we go, oh yes. Put on a massive lead head so I can feel the bottom. That is what it's about. This is a big hook as well, so I'm not too worried about it coming up well. Let's not speak too soon. Come on, be a big card. First one of the English Channel for me. Give me a oh my life, boys, boys, this is a double, this is a double card. <laughs> 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 oh my god boys, look at that beauty! <laughs> this is what it's about. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, seriously big. Is that the size of yours, is it? Do you think? Oh god, no, no. Naughty boy. Naughty boy. Behave. You're gonna have to come. Great big yeah, great big leadhead, mate. And I knew that would do the biz. Just looked right. And you said dark. Yes! Right, right. Let's keep calm. Let's keep calm. I might have one, mate. Give me two minutes. I'll have a, I'll find a leadhead for you. I'll find one for you. <laughs> Boys! Boys, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm so I'm gonna hold this through the gill plate and try not to try not to lose this naughty boy. Oh god, no, no, no! You're not to go anywhere. Look at that cod, boys! That is coming home for dinner. Um, I wouldn't normally take a big fish like that, but I'm sorry, I've worked very hard for it, and um, quite frankly, I think it's deserved. Look at that! That must be. Woohoo! Compare, similar, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, right, they pop up. that is immense. Oh, I'm chuffed, I'm gonna get that down there and try again. Nice. Fantastic. Huh? Well, I'm absolutely chuffed to get that massive cod. We're just resetting the drift. We're gonna try and get one each and then I'll just catch them and put them back. I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed, I'm really chuffed. That is a near size double figure fish. The engine's a bit hit and miss, but we're just keeping an eye on it. Kev thinks it might be an impeller problem we might have to have a little look at. It might just be something in the telltale. And when I get back to the car, I'm going to have a little look. But we had problems starting the engine today. Pretty much a brand new engine, but I've got to keep an eye on it. We're in again, boys, and it just come off. I was just putting the camera on, and um, stupidly, this must be Lowe's down here. Um, yeah, I'll just put the camera on, and unfortunately. Um, oh, got it, another hit there. Come on, come on, let's get a take on camera. We're using a huge, huge lead head. I'll show you, I'll show you in a minute. Maybe, I think we're nearly seven miles out now. Just 
reset it, make sure it's on the bottom. That was a big, that was, that was a big bite as well. So, they're here. Just whether we can get one to bite or not, I'm sure. I was using a much lighter rod and I, I sort of did that because I thought, oh, it'd be nice to get a good fight, but I just couldn't feel the bottom. So I've gone over to um, my 80 pound braid on the reel, uh, 500 gram boat rod. And you, the, the sensitivity is so much better. Fantastic. My first cod in the English Channel, That I've had them up North Sea and all that. Um, when I go up there, from, see, used to see my granddad. Um, but uh, yeah, never, never down here. And it's nice to have one in your own boat. Right, keep going to go. And I'm going to try and get another one. We're in boys, but I think it could be mackerel. I think it could be mackerel, which is not what we're after. But if it's mackerel, there's, oh my goodness, there's loads of mackerel there, look. Absolutely loads of them. Lots of mackerel again. What I don't like about the mackerel is they're flipping everywhere and um, they're, they're hooks and you've got an inflatable boat, so it's really not ideal. So I like to get them in and get them out quick, really. Oh, absolutely loads of them. I thought they were going to come through because I could see a load of um, little, little fry on the surface and they were all coming up. And I thought, yeah, we're going to get some mackerel in a minute. Not what we're really after. Just clean that one out. All right, where did the other one go? Maybe there wasn't another one. I think there was, but no. Let's. Maybe there was only three. Right, well, but let's try and get another cod. More bloody mackerel, boys. Trying to get down to those cod, and uh, we're just bringing up mackerel, mackerel, mackerel. And there's one, two, there's like five on here. Oh. on board. They're all on board, right. Undo them all. One. I'll just keep an eye on where those hooks are going. Two. Three. Oh. Four. And then five. Move the rod out of the way. No feathers. Oh dear. So um, what we caught that cod on, what we caught that cod on, was that massive lure there. The usual bass spot that we go to here in Eastbourne. I'm gonna go try and get some bass. My engine's a little bit better now it seems. But uh, we're going to get it checked over anyway. What a stunning, beautiful day to be out. This is what life's about. Getting out here with some really good mates. Having a good laugh. And uh, looking after each other as well. It's, it's, you know, with a kayak I was out on my own a lot. Now, since I got a sim, everyone's always up to coming out. It's fantastic. And uh, that's what it's about for me. Looking after who you're with, you know, being one. Right, so let's go get a few bass. Right, so we've just arrived at the um, bass mark now. It was about a five mile ride. Uh, we've just got a um, 360 GT Minnow on. Nice heavy weight, and we're just going to pop that down. I've um, got quite a big heavy rod on here, but um, I'll, uh, I'll put the smaller rod on for a bit more sport, I think, a bit later on. Oh, it's different fishing with this than it is those 500 gram lures we were fishing out without there. Totally different way of fishing. But yeah, I'll probably get my light, my light set up out in a second. So I come, we're going to put the lighter set up on. Well, we've just done it. I've just put the lighter set up on the lighter rod. I can't be fishing for bass with a 500 gram boat rod and 80 pound braid. It's just not right. So I'm just uh, literally just sorting this out. So that's all ready to go. We're going to reset our drift for the bass and see if we can get a, a nice late evening bass. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. That would be nice.
Come on in, Bassy Bassy. What a stunning day to be out. Beautiful, flat, calm. Oh, yeah, yeah, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I've had some amazing fish today. Two of my best ever wrasse and my um, PB cod as well. So I am very happy, boys. I don't know what this is. It feels, it feels too bassy. Where's it going? It feels really solid. It feels really heavy. But it doesn't feel bassy. It could be a load of mackerel, I suppose, but it's not. Oh, it's shaking a bit like. Oh, no, 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 it's not mackerel. No way. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh my life. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Look at this. It's a big, it's a big one. I don't know what it is though. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a bass, but. Oh, it's definitely a bass. It could be a big wrasse, I mean, it's on light gear. Oh, oh, it's a nice big bass. It's a big bass, nice one. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's better. No, come off, no. No, no, it took the lure. I don't know how that happened. It, it bit through the trace. It bit through the trace. I don't know how that's happened. Unbelievable. Um, I owe Kev some lures today, by the way. Unbelievable. I, you know, I'm not that bothered. It was an edible one and it was a nice size, probably four pound, but um, I've seen what it is. Um, that is really strange. Oh well, it's what it is. We'll reset the drift and um, we'll try and get another one, but that's, that's mad. I don't know how it's done that. Oh well, it is what it is. Oh, I cannot believe that bass. That is un absolutely unreal bit through the trace or maybe it was just from the uh you know from the, the the reef earlier maybe it was a bit of a a sharp nick in it or something and it just and it just had it it literally i could see it it, it pinged off and the bass was like i think i might be free and off it went <laughs> unbelievable but at least i saw it like it wasn't like a you know like a 10 pound fish if it was 10 pound fish i'd be really upset but um it was only probably like three or four pounds nice fish but um We'll, we'll, we'll just get another one. Um, I've lost so much gear today, it's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Let's just take that off. We use, this, what I might try, is one of these mackerel ones. It's not very heavy, so I don't know if it's gonna get down there very well, but we'll give it a go. I'll go and reset my drift in a minute and try for a, try another time. In fact, no, let's not put that one on. Let's put, uh, Let's put a rhubarb and custard on. See if, it's more of a cod lure, but we'll see if it wants to take that. I can't, I can't believe that come off. Oh well, let's, let's go again, let's, let's go again. Right, so um, the bass fishing, I fortunately lost that one. I'm sure you had a few giggles and laughs out of that, but um, oh well, it is what it is. Um, we're just filleting a few fish, just putting all our gear away, and then we're gonna do the sprint back to the shore. Uh, what a day! Um, honestly, it's, I wouldn't call it a red leather day, but it was it was a damn good day for me. I've had loads of mackerel, two beautiful sized wrasse, um, and a big cod. So, yeah, I'm happy. I, that's you know that's two new species really, like big size ones for me um, out of the sibs. So yeah, absolutely buzzing. Thank you for watching today. Much appreciated. Uh, if you've enjoyed it and you're not subscribed, give it a, give it a subscription. It's always worthwhile. Um, do lots of other different fishing as well so yeah thank you very much oh andy <laughs> you might have got some of andy's nude shots there lucky you um yeah we're gonna head back to shore and um yeah as i said subscribe to the channel if you're not already give us a like give us a comment below and i hope you've enjoyed today's episode on the sib right let's head in here we go boys let's go home Down on me, I'm a product of the street side. Lockdown got me on a decline. We've gotta find another way.
Music is my freedom so I let the rhythm play On sleep on the roads blinded by the street lights Link my brother for a free fight Light up a thing and get high Cause to get by we have to take time No 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 They look down on me I'm a product of the street side I apologise for any shore anglers out there with beaches on your beach. My apologies. Um, it is what it is. We can't do what we're going to do. I've, I've flushed my engine, um, so that's, as you can see, that's all, that's all done. Um, and I'm just going to show you what's inside this cod. I'm just filleting my fish now. Right, so that's the stomach there. Let's see what uh, Mr. Cod has been eating out a long, long way out. I think it's going to be crab. Oh no, it's fish, look. You can see in here, it's like big... Oh no, there's a bit of crab in there. That's crab. There's a bit of crab in there. Oh, there we go, look, that's, that's peeler crab, that is, that's soft. So it's had a peeler. Big crab there, look. Little, another little crab there. Well, let's have a little look. It's also had my lure. Uh, look at that, more, more crab. So it's, it's crab, it's what, it's, it's what the cod are eating. Out, out, out that distance. 